Welcome to the show, everybody. I am glad you found that comical, that opening skit. Hello, everybody. Welcome. We are very glad to have you here tonight. Very pleased to open up the show for you. My name is Matthew Harris, and this is my partner in crime over here, Gustavo Britt. <laughs> and we are Double D Comedy Improv. Give us a little love. Come on. That's right. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. I know what kind of minds you have in Paonia. You're thinking Double D. You're thinking boobies right now. You're thinking Dolly Parton. That's not what it's about. Gustavo, let them know what Double D is all about. Diabolical duo. That's us. That's us. We are diabolical, and we are a duo. Um, we've come here tonight to warm you up for the beautiful and talented Miss Thea Deli. A lot of you don't know this, but uh, Ms. Delhi is not called Ms. Delhi because she's from India. Okay? She's clearly as white as the rest of us in Colorado. Okay? Ms. Delhi is called Ms. Delhi because she serves up some tasty treats. Not your regular old deli either, where you go in and get, you like, you get yourself like a Reuben or what else? Yeah, matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup, you know, hamburger cheese. It's not like that. This is an exotic deli with exotic flavors like Mongolian fire oil. Cilantro dipped in chili butter. Rocky Mountain oysters. Hold the oysters. Past due cottage cheese. What was that one? Past due cottage cheese. Past due cottage cheese. Cardamom. Amaranth. Ginger coated organic garlic salt. <laughs> Lettuce. <laughs> grilled cheese sandwich, hold the grilled. And. Filet of fish. Filet of fish? Yes. Wow. And finally, yes. <laughs> a five gallon bucket. Of butter, okay? <laughs> all right. So this show, it's got all kinds of stuff going on. It might be a little bit. At times, you m probably are going to laugh, right? <laughs> oh, 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, oh my chest. Uh, that was laughter. Might make you cry. I believe you said that to me. <laughs> it might even offend you. What? You looking to me? I'm looking right at you. Oh, I don't see anyone else around here. You must be talking to me. It's just me and you. Or it might even bring you to climax. Hey, boy. Now they lower. Hey. I a crumba. How did that make you feel? <laughs> Tentative, tepid. They're a little on edge. You guys are not quite diabolical yet, but we will. We will, we will reel you in. So what's this show about, Gustavo? Well, basically, Mr. Harris, it's about religion, mostly Christianity. Uh, that's pretty cool, man. What do you think? That's pretty cool, no? Actually, I think that's not too kosher. And that's our first scene we're gonna do for you tonight. It's called, That's Not Kosher. Now, we know we have a lot of diversity in churches here in town, right? 20, 30, 40, something like that. But we all know we don't have one thing, and that is a synagogue. No synagogue. Now, as a Jew here in town, I know there's a lot of other Jews out there. So let me see your, uh, the hands of all the Jewish people in the audience. Come on, I know there's... Wave your these... Jewish oh, flag Way high. back there. Kaboom. Wave it. Wow. Jew power. Come on. Jim Brett, you're from Ohio, too, and... And Jewish, I didn't know that. I like it. So we got some, we got one in the front here. Great, let's see those hands again because there's only like three of you. <laughs> uh, okay, so this, this is what we need from you. We need that classic Jewish story. Maybe something from a Passover Seder, a bar mitzvah, Hanukkah, something with some juice, something that you or still remember Or just hanging out today. with your mom. One, one of the, Who's one of got those. a story for us, one of you three? Who's got a good Jew story? Come, Come on, on, confess Fire it up. up, it can be quick. Anyone got so one? We're gonna pick you, we know who you are now. You got one for us, sweetie pie? Think, think, think. We're going to make one up if you guys don't tell us one. 
Come on, like the time when you told your mom you weren't gonna be a lawyer, you're gonna do bagging down at Dawn's? Come on. <laughs> All right, Jim, what happened in Temple? Let's go. A what? A dreidel. Uh, is it a Jewish dreidel? <laughs> That's uh, what they're used for in, in Judaism. So you're in a synagogue, you're using a dreidel. You, you thought, thought it was candy. You thought it was candy and there was a tornado chasing you. And he swallowed it because he was scared. Okay. Aye. Aye. Eli oh, boy. Eliyahu. Eliyahu, uh, come here, uh, my son. Oh, come yes. here. Yes, what, what would you like me to do for you today? Come here, my son. We have, yes. we have a great day for you today. You are going to play the dreidel for the synagogue. Oh, boy, it's big. It's not that big. It's only this small. Oh. But don't worry. You can get your little fingers around it. Very nervous about okay. that. Okay, this is what we got. We've got a gimel. We've got a dalid. We've got a che. And we've got a shin. Okay? Oh my goodness. Now don't worry about the point system. There's no yarmulke on top of that dreidel. Okay, we can make it happen. Okay, there, there it go. is. There it is. All right, now Eliyahu, okay. I want you to spin the dreidel. And if you get it on the right letter, well, there's a surprise. <sighs> oh boy, a Jewish surprise. Okay, all right. Let me just think about how I'm going to pull this off here. Oh, just boy. use your fingers. Okay, I'll just get started with it here. Now I'm just gonna reach down and just spin it, except I have Tourette's of the hand. Oh my God! Oh, hey, Eliyahu! What is wrong with you? I need a What's wrong with you? That is not candy. Are you okay? I have Tourette's of the hand. Look, it's a gimel. You get nothing. Oh. And see. All right, so we got uh, the Jewish tradition covered. So how about we go in the other direction? How, since, since we got a new pope, what do you say we uh, hit up the old Catholics? Yeah, let's hit the Catholics up. Any Catholics out there tonight? <laughs> oh, God, I just... Jim Brett's a Catholic as well? Oh, my Jim. gosh. I feed off your guilt. I want you guys to know that. I feel that power. No Catholics. Yeah, some recovering Catholic. Yes. All right. So for this game, it's going to be called Catholic Confession. That's right. And we need a, I'm going to say a fake confession, because basically living in Paonia, we all know your secrets already. So <laughs> <clears throat> let's go ahead and do a uh, fake confession. You guys just yell them out. We'll pick one. You guys, you guys know what kind of show you're at tonight, right? So... Go ahead and loosen up here and fire out something absurd for us here. Where's that? Be what's, what do you got, Bubba? What, what's, what's your confession? I don't know what Catholic, I don't know what they do, so. Okay, his confession is, he doesn't know what confession is. I think we can work with that. <laughs> we got some chops, folks. We are diabolical. So. Scene. Honey. Yes, dear. I don't know how to tell you this. Well, then don't tell me. But I feel terrible about it. What is it? It's something that's really deep, dark. You're going to be so mad at me when I tell you. Dark and deep? It's deep and dark, and it's buried down. It's like below, it's even below my crotch line. It's down below my kneecap. It's so... It's stuck it's, in your shin region. It's almost in my shoes, and I just feel... Oh, I'm glad you're wearing Velcro. Let's get it out of there. I feel really guilty about it, and I would tell you, but I... I don't know what confession is. <laughs> well, dear. I think we could help you with that. Start with the words, I believe in myself. Do you have any confessions? I believe in myself. I do. Oh, you do? Yes. Do you know what a confession is? I do. If you do your confession, then I'll know what it is, and then I can tell you mine. Okay. 
Well, this one is deeper and darker than your shoelaces. Oh, my God. I got to start over here because I need a running start. Okay. I'm here, baby. I'm right here. You know how we've lived on this farm of 70 acres for 40 years? Yes. Well. That's the 70-40 deal we made. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to squat. 110%, my love. Oh, okay. It says it right on our ketubah. Wait, that's Judaism. Um, well. I did, something I, don't, with, I did something with the sheep. Okay, so that has something to do with confession. All right, I'm squatting. I don't know why, but I am. Well, I too was squatting when Rosie came by for her feed. <gasps> and what happened after that? Was it organic? I fed her deep fried cilantro and chili oil. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Break to confession booth. Father? Yes, my dear. Please forgive me, for I have sinned. What have you done? I don't really want to say I'm so ashamed, but they say it's safe to say things that are, that we, that are terrible inside this sacred place. Anything is safe in here in this godforsaken telephone oh, booth for a thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father or priest, whatever you are, thank you. I'm going to tell you now. It's my first confession because I just figured out what it was. Just spit up at a golf match. Okay. I used the Spectrum First Pressed Organic Olive Oil for my own pleasure. Oh, did what? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And scene. All right, folks. Thank you. 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 Our next game, our last game of the night, is called wordplay. We all know words, right, in the English language, right? No. Oh my gosh. No Jews. No Catholics. And we can't speak English. There's no English people so here. So this is called wordplay. And what we need from you is just one word. First one comes off the top of your head. It needs to be like an action word, something juicy, something. Orgasm. You can be orgasm. One. He's getting a more child-proof word over there. <laughs> Keep thinking of more. Let's hear Stupid. Him. Okay, stupid. Let's stupid. work on stupid first. And scene. Well, let me tell you. Uh, uh, here's my idea. Uh, they attack us, we attack someone else. Oh, my God, that sounds great. And then we'll claim mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give us another word. We could do orgasm. We'll do that later. Give us another one. Stage. Booger? 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 Billy? Yeah? Did you put those boogers under the couch again? I was, I was, I was waiting for the apocalypse. I wanted some backup grub. <laughs> All right, give us another one. Skydiving. Skydiving. <gasps> All right, this is what you're going to do. Just mount on my back and we're going to jump out of here. That's too gay. Yeah. I'm not doing that. What? I'd rather oh, die than have an orgasm in weeks. <laughs> All right, how about one more, folks, and then we'll get to the Alter show. Boy. Say what? that again. Alter boy. Alter boy. Alter boy and then orgasm. I, I, don't, I don't know about that kid. I mean, he looks like an altar boy. He wasn't the boy that came in here before. That's Marilyn Manson. Oh, I thought it was Ozzy Osbourne. No, it's Marilyn. He's dressed in an altar boy outfit. Now he is sacrificing that lamb that you fed the deep fried cilantro to. Oh my God, he better go confess. And S orgasm. So here's how it's going to go. You're going to come into the booth, the confession booth. Oh. And uh, you're going to take off all your clothes. Yeah, this is my fetish. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to turn on this blower and $100 bills are going to spin all around you. If you could sustain an orgasm for 42 minutes, you will win all the money that falls between your toes. What am I doing? I'm spinning what? Oh, the money's going to spin around you, man. Yes. And you are going to orgasm for 42 minutes. If you could hold that orgasm for 42 minutes, you will win all the money that spins the booth. All right. Let's get started. Let me push the blower. And... Ah, uh, come on, Nelly, come on, come on, Nelly, come on. 
Let's hear it, from oh, folks. Come on, that money is flowing. Oh. Hey, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, eight, nine, nine seven. Come on, eleven, twelve, twelve. We only got thirty-four, fifty-six, seventy, eighty, nine, ten, twenty, 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 forty. And scene. Congratulations. Good night. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show, everybody. Mr. Matthew Harris. Mr. Gustavo Brett. <laughs>